I'm going to choose a gingerbread launcher. That's my preferred launcher at the moment. Doesn't that look nice? Okay, so it's uh, still just past 3 a.m. and we have our new... Uh, that looks great. You can already tell it's the phone's feeling snappier. This is how this phone should look and, and feel. You can also see now we have 26 apps available to us for free from the Samsung App Store. There's our app drawer. That works so smooth. Fantastic. Look at all the extra apps we have. Backlight notification, that's great for this phone because it has no LED. It's a, a battery indicator, SGS info, SGS toolbox, SGS tools. Look at the notification screen. One thing I like about the what they've done with the new email is it opens, if an email has pictures, it opens, it sh displays the pictures automatically. Previously, you always had to hit that button. Wow, is this ever fast? Hmm. You can already see it's quite a bit faster. Okay, so I'm going to cut out this part again so we can uh, jump to the end and see the score. Okay, so our score should have gone up now from 909 to 1238. Let's take a look at the wallpapers that are included with this ROM. Uh, there's a bunch of the stock ones it looks like. Also some really nice new ones that are included by Darkey. Hmm. Might have to give a couple of these a try while I'm using this phone. Try that one. I like how dark wallpapers look on the Super AMOLED screen. Let's check out the live wallpapers. Here's some more uh, wallpapers. This wallpaper looks fantastic on, on this screen, so I'm going to use that. Let's take a look at maps, see if our GPS has improved any. Oh, the new version of maps, get a nicer looking GPS icon up top, you can see there it's flashing. Okay, so we're waiting for a fix. Oh, there, it looks like we got it. So I wasn't even able to get a fix before with the stock ROM, and now I seem to have it. And I'm indoors. I actually shouldn't even get one. So that's great. Tilt works. The new maps, excellent.
Here's our settings. So this is based on JPY, Dry Keys Version 8 Gingerbread Edition. This is a 2.2.1 ROM, but uh, it's marked as 2.3.1, which some people are not too happy about, but no big deal. Easy to change. Set it to whatever you want. There's tethering available. Now you look, if we go into our access point names screen, uh, you'll notice now, see, TELUS has automatically been set and all the values have been set. I didn't have to enter anything manually. Another nice benefit uh, that came along with this ROM. New music player installed. Very nice. Things so fast. Okay, so let's uh, enable the lag fix. Oh, enable the gingerbread keyboard. So I'm going to hold down there, there and put my foot. There's our keyboard. There's no vibrate on it. Okay, so the, the, the haptic feedback is not working on the gingerbread keyboard. Let's check out the circular battery app. Um, I like these because I like to see how many hours I've been running since a full charge. Let's check out the, see, that's what I like to see. How many hours have we been unplugged? And I like to see the temperature as well. So that's useful. Plus you get a bigger icon along the top. The numbers are easier to read. So let's check out backlight notification, BLN. What BLN does is it turns on the two capacitive buttons to signify that you have a message waiting. There we go. So that's how your phone's going to look when you have a message waiting. Cool. I like that. Okay, so we're going to go back into the recovery mode to enable lag fix now. Uh, there are many ways to do that. We can use the three button method we used before. Here's another way. We can use this app called SGS Toolbox, um, which it just asks for root. Okay, reboot into recovery. Yes. There is our Clockwork Mod screen. Now you can see there's Voodoo Lag Fix, so we're going to select that.
Okay, so it says Voodoo lag fixed is actually disabled. On the next boot, it's disabled. So we're going to enable it. So we'll go down one spot in the menu and select that. Okay, now we see Voodoo lag fix is actually disabled, but next boot, it's enabled. So now we can go back and reboot. Reboot system now. Invert data partition. Time estimated. Two minutes. Back up operation. So in two minutes, uh, our lag fix should be enabled, should be up and running. Nice, we're uh, booting up. So this phone is gonna be super exciting now. We have a full custom, up-to-date Froyo ROM based on Samsung's latest release of Froyo 2.2.1 for this phone. It's also lag fixed and has a custom kernel uh, with improved sound and uh, graphics. slick. Oh yeah, this is so fast. So this is on Wi-Fi. That is fast. So there you have it. We now have our kernel and lag fix. So in summary, in the last 90 minutes, I have rooted my phone, installed custom recovery, a super custom ROM, and Voodoo kernel. Lastly, let's check available, available memory and quadrant. You can see our available memory has increased. Uh, there's now 339 megs available instead of 326. Let's check quadrant and uh, we should see an improvement here. Yep, we have 1546. So definitely a jump again. So we started with a stock phone uh, which got about 900 in quadrant. We upgraded to Darkie's custom ROM. That took us to about 1200 in quadrant. And then once we enabled Voodoo lag fix, we ended up with a pretty serious phone with over 1500 in quadrant. Thanks everyone. Hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching.